Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a super simple nozzle for a PVC rocket motor. This is an easy nozzle. It has a convergent section made out of epoxy clay here. This is just a generic kind that I found in the plumbing section. You could use something like this uh, JB Weld uh, steel stick that would work uh, quite well just as well. But uh, anyways, this serves to, um, to prevent the washer inside from overheating and it forms a convergent for the uh, flame front to come on down into the nozzle. It does not have a divergent section here as you can see. And uh, what that allows is a simplified construction. So this nozzle is great for motor testing, or let's say your two inch rocket is reaching too high of an altitude, you could control it by using this type of nozzle here. This is a concrete nozzle that I made in a previous video. I'll put a link up so you can see the uh, tutorial. It uh, features concrete on both ends, and it has a divergent nozzle here that you can see. Um, this nozzle is uh, very durable. Um, it uh, takes a little longer to make, and it requires a jig that I show in another, um, that another video tutorial that I have here. Uh, however, once you make this jig, you can make uh, up to four nozzles at a time, and uh, I find that to be pretty convenient. But uh, if you don't want to mess with the concrete and you just want something simple to get up and running, uh, this uh, easy nozzle is really the way to go. Let's take a look at how this goes together. The first thing you'll need is a one inch PVC pipe that's one and three quarters of an inch long. And then you need three quarter inch PVC pipe that's an inch and a quarter long. Now these pipe sizes come in nominal sizes. In other words, um, they're not very exact. So it takes a little uh, press fitting to get the two together. They're not really meant to fit inside of one another, but they will. Uh, so what I do is I put a uh, good size chamfer on the inside of this one inch PVC pipe here so that it'll allow this to fit in there a little bit easier. Now you don't want to chamfer this end, you want to leave it nice and square. So put your uh, PVC cement in here and when you think of uh, PVC glue, it's, uh, it's more like uh, plastic welding than uh, an adhesive like, like you would think. It's not like a wood glue, it really uh, just molecularly seizes the two pieces together. So once you get started with uh, tapping this in with a hammer, you don't want to stop. You want to make sure you tap it in quickly because it will seize up very quick. And once you have the two pieces together, you can see that I have them uh, put together here. I've tapped that in. Then you have a nice shoulder that we're going to put the washer on. Now I use uh, one washer, you can use two. Uh, this is a 3 16 by one inch fender washer here that I got at Menards. Uh, the diameter of, of the uh, washer here, the inside diameter, uh, makes a big difference. So you have to plan this in your motor design. But anyways, uh, I drop that in there and uh, make sure it sits in there nice and flush like that. Uh, I think you can see that. And if you want, you can put two of them in there if you're going to use this actually in a rocket motor, give you a little bit more of a throat there. Uh, one washer is fine for just testing, but uh, if you want a little more uh, efficiency, two of them will work just slightly better. But if you use two of them, make sure that they're both lined up. Then the next thing you want to do is get your epoxy clay, and I'll show you that in the next step. And you want to put that inside of your nozzle so that it forms a convergent. Also, this convergent acts as a heat sink and uh, keeps this uh, washer from superheating and melting through the plastic. I've got the epoxy clay kneaded up into a, a roll here. I have more than I need. I usually make more than one at a time. That kind of cuts down on the waste. Uh, but you want to just kind of roll that out a little bit. And then you want to go ahead and start working it into the nozzle. You want to make sure that you work it down into the corners on the side because you want to make sure that flame front does not get anywhere into the uh, nozzle area where you don't want it. This provides a seal to help keep the uh, hot gases from going down the side of the nozzle itself. So you just go ahead and kind of work that in there, press it down in like that, 
And uh, right now there's no hole in there. We'll fix that here in just a second. You can take a scratch all or a screwdriver or whatever you have and uh, go down through the middle of it and then kind of work it around like this. And there, you can keep working that until you're uh, happy with the looks of it. Uh, you can also trim it with an X-Acto knife. It doesn't come out quite like you want it. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, but make sure that the two washers that are in there are lined up. You don't want that hole to uh, be closed up in any way. And so that's looking pretty good. Uh, you can also finish it off with a drill bit if you want to make it a little smoother or change the uh, diameter of it a little bit. Uh, looks like I got a little spot there I need to work on. So you have a, a few minutes to work on it and get it the way you want it. There, that's looking pretty good. And then this will mount into your motor. Of course, you'll, you'll glue that, but uh, that gives you a basic idea of how everything's gonna work here. And that's all there is to it. I usually make uh, three or four at a time and uh, just experiment away. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, let me know what you think or anything you'd like to see. All right, until then, blue skies. We'll see you soon.